We know that wearing a face covering is one of the best tools for reducing the spread of COVID-19. So to protect our school communities, face coverings must be worn by all students who are able in kindergarten through 12th grade. All teachers, staff, and adult visitors will also wear face coverings inside of school buildings and anywhere on school grounds. This includes outside and while traveling on buses or other transportation vehicles. Face coverings are a source of protection in case the person wearing the covering has the virus and doesn't know it. Wearing a face covering shows that you care about those around you and you want to do your part in minimizing exposure to viruses and to protect our most vulnerable friends and family members. For example, the elderly, those with immunocompromised systems, and those with pre-existing conditions such as asthma. Some people can't wear a face covering, so there are some exceptions to this requirement. Face coverings should not be placed on anyone who has trouble breathing or is unconscious, is unable to remove the face covering without assistance, cannot tolerate a face covering due to developmental, medical, or behavioral health needs. The state will provide five cloth face coverings per student, teacher, and staff member in all North Carolina schools, public, charter, and private. Teachers who work with special student populations where it is important to see a teacher's mouth should consider wearing transparent face coverings or a face covering with a clear front panel. These special populations might include students who are deaf, having difficulty hearing, or are receiving speech language services students in early education programs, students with autism spectrum disorder, or who are English language learners. Students, teachers, and staff can take short breaks from wearing face coverings when there is a lower risk for transmission. For example, when outside, when air circulation is increased by opening windows, and when people are consistently six feet apart. You can also remove your face covering while you're eating or participating in strenuous physical activity outside. When you take your face covering off for any of these reasons, remember to handle it by the earpieces, to fold it with the outside in, and to keep it safe in a bag or breathable container labeled with your name. While the face coverings are effective in reducing the spread of COVID-19, they are only effective if you wear them properly. Let's review the steps for wearing face coverings. First, wash your hands with soap and water or use hand sanitizer before putting on your face covering. Next, Put your face covering on by holding the ear loops. Make sure that it is placed over your nose and mouth and secured around your chin. Adjust the covering to your face, leaving as little of a gap as possible on the sides. If your face covering has large openings around your nose, mouth, and the sides of your face, it cannot keep your respiratory droplets from moving towards other people. Your nose needs to stay inside the face covering. The virus travels through the air and you can breathe it out if your nose is exposed. Try not to touch the face covering while wearing it to prevent unnecessary germs. Before removing the face covering, wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Remove the face covering using ear loops only. Make sure you hold the covering away from your face as you remove it. Again, when you are not wearing your face covering, store it in a paper bag or other breathable container labeled with your name and folded with the outside in. Then wash your hands again. Your face covering should be washed regularly, every day if you are wearing it for a long time. For younger elementary age students who may be reluctant to wear a face covering, the American Academy of Pediatrics shares the following tips. Look in the mirror with the face covering on and talk about it. Put a face covering on your favorite stuffed animal. Decorate your face covering so it's more personalized and fun. Show your child pictures of other children and adults wearing the face covering. Practice wearing the face covering at home to help your child get used to it. When you follow the three W's, wearing a face cover, waiting six feet apart, and washing your hands often, or using hand sanitizer, you protect your friends, family, and school communities from COVID-19. You can find additional guidance for face coverings in the Strong Schools NC Public Health Toolkit that is available on the NC Department of Health and Human Services website, as well as in the Lighting Our Way Forward guidance document on the NC Department of Public Instruction website.